Amida's Supreme Light of Wisdom and Compassion by Ganson John Welsh Ignorant egos compete, clash and fight on the battlefields of life and samsara over who is wrong and who is right, who has the power, profit, money and the might. But in reality, the ruler in samsara is our evil and negative karma, and we are in bondage in this and every age to powerlessness, poverty, debt, dictatorships and totalitarian tyranny. And all the systems, schemes, strategies and words of the wise cannot free our minds from ignorance, folly or prize open the locks that imprison our bodies and brains. So we desperately search in vain for freedom from this Saha world and the solution to our wretched and seemingly hopeless situation in this dark and degenerate age of injustice greed, grasping and impotent rage. If it were not for Amida's unequalled light of supreme wisdom, unsurpassed illumination, unequalled kindness and compassion, we would definitely be defeated and lose the fight and suffer repeated births and deaths in samsara because of our negative evil karma. We will fail to reach nirvana in the pure land of Amida Tathagata. So, let us cling tightly to Amida's sleeve, and we will no longer grieve. As with faith, a gift of Amida's great grace, our evil karmic burden is erased, so we will no longer face the negative consequences in the future that we would inevitably have to endure. Let us, with an attitude of humble gratitude, think and say, each and every day, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu, Thank you, Amida Buddha. Homage to Amida Buddha. I take refuge in Amida Buddha. The above verses were inspired by the following passages from pages 361 to 365 of Reverend Joshua Adrian Salia's excellent and very important book, Commentary on the Sutra on the Buddha of Infinite Life. Bodhisattvas in aspiration, sometimes they are called Bodhisattvas in training, are those who have made the aspiration to attain Buddhahood for themselves and all beings, but who are still on the path and still unenlightened, that is, not yet Buddhas. In this category of Bodhisattvas can be included all beings, no matter what their level of spiritual attainment is, as long as they wish to attain Buddhahood and freedom from samsara for themselves and all beings. To have this wish, which is called the Bodhi mind, makes everyone a Bodhisattva in aspiration, even if his spiritual capacities are extremely low or practically non-existent. Thus, every Mahayana Buddhist, including a Jodo Shinshu follower, can be called a Bodhisattva in aspiration, because Shinjin or faith in Amida is in fact the Bodhi mind. As Shinran said, quote, Shinjin, that is the inconceivable working of the power of the vow, is none other than the mind aspiring for great enlightenment, end quote. Quote, the true and trusting heart is adamantine faith. Adamantine faith is the aspiration for Buddhahood. The aspiration for Buddhahood is the desire to save sentient beings. The desire to save sentient beings is the desire to embrace sentient beings and bring them to the pure land of peace and bliss. This desire is the great Bodhi mind. This mind is the great compassion, for it arises from the wisdom of infinite light. End quote. In our case, the awakening of the Bodhi mind, the aspiration to attain perfect enlightenment or Buddhahood for oneself and all beings, is impossible to be fulfilled by self-power. As Shinran said, quote, The aspiration for enlightenment through self-power taught in the path of the sages is beyond our minds and words. We foolish beings, ever sinking in transmigration, how could we awaken it? Under the guidance of Buddhas who appeared in this world three times the sands of the Ganges in number, we awakened the aspiration for supreme enlightenment, but our self-power failed, and we continued to transmigrate. End quote. However, this mind is fulfilled in the awakening of faith or Shinjin, in the primal vow of Amida Buddha. Master Shantao said, Awake your Bodhi mind to Amida's compassion, that is, aspire to your and other beings' liberation by relying on the compassion of Amida, that is, his primal vow. So, the awakening of the Bodhi mind, the obligatory condition in Mahayana of attaining the supreme enlightenment, appears in Jodo Shinshu in the form of faith or Shinjin. 
Shinran Shonen said in the hymns on patriarchs, quote, Faith is one mind, one mind is the diamond-like mind, the diamond-like mind is the Bodhi mind, this mind is given us by the other power, end quote. The one mind or faith represents the cause of enlightenment. Since this is the Bodhi mind, it means to aspire to the attainment of Buddhahood for oneself and others. Quote, to take refuge with the mind that is single, in the Buddha of unhindered light, filling the ten quarters, Amida is in the words of Vasubandhu, author of the treatise, the mind that aspires to attain Buddhahood. The mind that aspires to attain Buddhahood is the mind to save all sentient beings. The mind to save all sentient beings is true and real Shinjin, which is Amida's benefiting of others. True and real Shinjin or faith is the aspiration for Buddhahood. The aspiration for Buddhahood is the aspiration to save all beings. The aspiration to save all beings is the mind that grasps sentient beings and brings them to birth in the pure land of happiness. End quote. Thus, Although we are ordinary beings filled with ignorance and blind passions, since we receive faith in Amida Buddha, we can be called bodhisattvas in aspiration. However, there are bodhisattvas in aspiration that do not have faith in Amida, but make great and sincere efforts on various paths of self-power. Many of them are more spiritually advanced than us, perhaps even on the ten bhumis or stages, but still they are not enlightened and not Buddhas yet. Namo Amida Butsu.